Monday morning blues I open my eyes And I'm greeted by a cute little smile The world is new With you by my side Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home Just to hear your voice on the phone I think of you And I'm not alone You are everything We're gonna head to Boise and then we're done for the night. Everything is beautiful, Sunday morning snooze with breakfast in bed. And I listen to the song in my head. It sings to you and the things that you do. Cause you're everything. Well, hello friends. I am in Boise. I am getting ready to crawl in bed. We landed around 7.30 Boise time. And as soon as I got to my room, I called Damon. We've been watching Back to the Future, like all of the three movies. And so we finished the third one because he was gonna go film with his friend tonight. So I wanted to spend some time with him before he left for the night and i went to the gym got a quick workout in i've been really trying to go even when i don't feel like going i was like okay it's late i need to go to bed but i'm trying to push through and be disciplined just to love myself enough to show up even when it's hard because i feel like that's when we make the most progress so that's my encouragement to you if there's something that you've been putting off or a challenge that you've been afraid or backing away from run at it full force even when you don't feel like going or feel like doing it it's still important to show up and do those things and that's where you are going to build and progress and move forward toward your goals and your dreams and your visions in life so not the little bedtime pep talk guys but yeah i just want to be encouraging and i want to be real with you guys and share like i love sharing my job but i also want to share the rest of my life and the things that this job is teaching me like yes it's really cool and i get to fly to places and see new people but i also have get to learn new things and i get to build a lifestyle that i love and that pushes me to be a better version of myself every day so thanks for listening but I, oh yeah, I had dinner. I just got a Costco membership yesterday for the first time in my life. I've never had one and it was the coolest thing ever. So I went in and did some meal prepping before the four day and I got some chicken burrito bowls basically. Um, it came in a pack of three. So it'll be my dinners for the next three days, which is great. And then I got these Olipops. It came in a pack of root beer and strawberry vanilla. I'd never had this one before, but it's, I drink so much water throughout the day, which is great, but I kind of wanted something to drink with my meals. So I packed a couple of these at a and a root beer one as well, I think. So I'm just finishing this up and I also have my little dessert is, look how big these are, is some cotton candy grapes. Let me show you guys. You hear that crunch? They're literally perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's my little dessert. I am going to wind down. Our van pickup time is at 6.55 mountain time and breakfast starts at six. So it'll be early for my body cause that'll be 5 a.m. And I'll have to wake up pretty early, but it's nice to get breakfast. We have two flights tomorrow. Tomorrow's a super easy day. Today was a good day. We did the Santa Barbara turn and then I had a three hour sit in Seattle. I don't know if I shared that, but we sat for three hours there and I went up into the airport into like a little corner and called Damon and we started Back to the Future 3 and then we finished it tonight. 
and I ate and then I went into the crew room and just read my book which I showed you guys on the plane it's a Tessa Bailey book it's the second in a series and it's just really cute Some spicy parts it's a really cute storyline I really do like it the first book is called it happened one summer i believe and it's based off of if you guys have watched schitt's creek it's based off of alexis from schitt's creek like her character just like a high maintenance rich girl and meets fisherman in the pnw so it's really cool and then the second one is about her sister and uh, um one of the other another fisherman in town and so it's really cool it's fun it's a really sweet storyline and I'm enjoying it. I'm almost done with it. I borrowed these books from my friend and she's coming to visit me in Seattle next weekend. And so I promised her I'd be done. I have one more book to read. It's Love Theoretically. So I need to get through these two books. I'm just about done with this one and I have one more to start and finish in the next week, which I think I could do because I like to read when I'm on the plane and in between and before bed. So it's my excuse me it's my nighttime routine now so i'm gonna wrap up here for the night and i'll see you guys in the morning good night good morning it is 6 a.m here in boise i am going to get ready and head downstairs for breakfast before my van pick up So I'm back in my room after the gym. I immediately came back, changed, and went downstairs. I met my crew for some appetizers and some drinks. And so we all kind of shared food. Like everybody got an appetizer. We all kind of shared, which was really nice. And then me and my other flight attendant, I told her that I needed to go across the street to Target to get a couple of things and she wanted to come with me. So we walked over there. I grabbed some things. I just got uh, some makeup is all I got. Some makeup, some micellar water. Yeah, some face moisturizer. That's pretty much it. Nothing exciting. I'm trying to be good about spending money. It's 5.45 p.m. My van pickup time is at 3.55 a.m. So I definitely need to go to bed by like 8. And Damon is meal prepping right now. So I think I'm going to go shower and just kind of wind down, get ready to relax and just be in bed for the rest of the night until it's time to go to sleep. 
I'll probably make some tea and yeah, just kind of like lay low, drink water, hydrate, make sure I'm ready to go for the morning because it's such an early morning. So I'm gonna go shower, get in my pajamas, and then we're gonna go from there. So I just got off the phone with Damon. We just hung out and caught up today. I got to share my day with him a little bit because we haven't really talked a whole lot. And he shared his day with me and we were just chatting and catching up, which was really nice. We watched an episode of Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but he has to head out to work. And I'm gonna wind down and start getting ready for bed at seven o'clock, but I definitely need to be asleep in the next hour. So I think I'm gonna take some melatonin. I'm making some mint tea right now. So I'm gonna have that, but I wanted to show you guys this new book that I am gonna read. So I was reading a Bessa, Bessa Tessa Bailey book and it was so good. It was so cute. I enjoyed the last two books I just read from her. And my friend also let me borrow this book. It's by Allie Hazelwood and it's called Love Theoretically. And oh, that scared the crap out of me. Oh my gosh, my heart just jumped. I totally forgot. It's just the water heating up in the coffee maker, but that scared me so bad. I'm gonna start this new book. I think I'm gonna start it tonight. We'll see. I'll start it tonight or tomorrow morning. I am kind of feeling tired already, so I might just watch an something on Netflix. I'm re-watching How I Met Your Mother. So I might just watch an episode of TV and then go to bed, honestly. I haven't decided, but I wanted to share this new book because if I don't start this tonight, I'll definitely start it tomorrow. We do have four flights tomorrow, which is kind of a lot, especially with a 3.55 a.m. van pickup, but it's still not a bad day. We go back to Seattle. We do a Seattle Boise turn and then we end up in Yakima tomorrow night or tomorrow afternoon uh, literally around the same time we landed today I think like one or two between 1 and 2 p.m. We land in Yakima so I need to look up I don't really know if there's anything to do there So I might just go find somewhere to sit outside and read my book, but it looks like a good one This one is a closed door romance I believe so there's no like spicy scenes in it or anything like that if you're like worried about that or staying away from that so i definitely know sometimes i have to like skip past the spicy scenes because they can be really intense but i do enjoy the storyline of like rom-coms or romance books so i'm really excited to read this one i've never read any books by ali hazelwood before but she's a new york times bestseller so that's my plan my friend is so cute she printed out all of these like symbols of like i think like the main guy's tattoos or something she printed them out so that she could see all of his like equations and stuff like that i don't know so i have a little handy dandy flash cards basically for when the time comes to get a little bit of a better understanding so i just wanted to show that with you guys because i've really been enjoying reading after this, I am going to read, I told myself I need to read a nonfiction book, so I'm going to read David Goggins' second book because I read his first one. I gave it to my dad to borrow. It was really good. So I'm going to read his second book, especially because we are supposed to be training for a marathon. Dave, Damon is doing a really good job. He's been getting back into running and been going for runs consistently, but I've been dealing with really bad runner's knee and my knees have just been like not having it, like excruciating pain whenever I run like a mile super slow. So I'm trying to figure that out. I'm just happy to be going to the gym and moving my body every week, every day, and just trying to stay active that way, but I do need to get into running. So that's my book after this. Um, yeah, I think that's all I got. I'm gonna make my tea and I'm gonna get ready for bed. So I'm probably gonna just wrap up for the night here and just say good night now. It's a super early night, but you guys will see me bright eyed and bushy tailed in the morning, 3 a.m.
I just got to my hotel, got out of my uniform, got into some comfy clothes, and I'm gonna lay down and take a nap. We got here two hours after we were supposed to get here. I am so tired since we've been up since 3 a.m. this morning, so I am going to, I'm gonna take a nap, and I will fill you in later and make a plan for the night. <music> friends I napped for an hour and a half it was glorious it was much needed there is so many kiddos running around this hotel it is super busy but it's okay we managed to get a nap and fell right asleep through all the chaos I woke up I didn't eat lunch and I kind of just need one more meal today because I'm gonna go to bed super early so I just am heating up my chicken breast burrito bowl but I wanted some chips and salsa. I've been craving chips and salsa for the last few days. And so there's a Chipotle right across the street. So I literally just went over there and grabbed some uh, chips and this medium salsa. Looking back, I should have got the corn salsa, but the medium salsa is going to be good too. We're going to test it out while my bowl cools down. Ooh, that's so much salt. Holy cow. Good. I'm FaceTiming Damon right now. He's over here. Damon, say hello. Wave at my people. Nice. I made some weird sound effect, but I'm not going to repeat it. I don't really know how to do it either. But he's driving around. I'm not sure if we're going to hang out. We might watch something. But I told him it's okay if we don't. I literally am just so, I'm so out of it. I'm going to eat. Hang out with my man. Ooh. Let me show you guys one more thing. I'll be right back. Day one, when I ate this chicken bowl, I told you guys I got it from Costco in a three pack and I got some Olipops. I had strawberry vanilla flavor the other night and it was really good. And this one is classic root beer. And I have tried this one before. I do like it. It tastes pretty good to me. Yeah, like I feel like it tastes like root beer. It almost tastes like root beer and cream soda combined. And I really enjoy it. So we're gonna enjoy our little meal and I will catch you guys up later. All right, friends, it's about 7.30. I just brushed my teeth and crawled in bed for the night because I have to go to bed in the next like 30 minutes. I'm pretty tired. Luckily, this hotel has blackout curtains because it's still really light out. So I already closed my curtain, so it's pretty dark in my room. I just have this lamp on at the bedside table, but I wanted to give an update about today quickly before going to bed because I've been putting it off. I've just been so tired and just resting, but we had four flights today and it was a pretty decent day. I did have, I felt like on every flight, I had like one or two like cranky or just like rude passengers, um, which doesn't, I mean, it happens sometimes and you just kind of brush it off and it's like, I don't take it personally, but we got through it. So we did our first three flights and then we our last flight was to yakima which is where i'm at and it's literally a 25 minute flight from seattle to yakima and it was the last flight of the day but our aircraft was like really stinky and i remember walking on and being like it smells like something died in here and I was like, it smells like a dead animal. And so I was like asking the other flight attendant. She's like, it kind of smells like fishy in here. But like, she was like, I don't have a really good like sense of smell. So she's like, it's hard to tell. And I was like, okay. Told the captain. He's like, yeah, we kind of like just like once we opened the door and they turned on like the air vents to just kind of like air it out. It kind of went away. And like, you know, once you're on the plane, like it kind of once you're sitting there for a while, it just you get used to it. But as the day went on, I, it got worse and worse. And then um, I decided, I was like, okay, like we need to look into this. And so we were delayed for a couple hours, you guys, because maintenance had to come on and assess it and check everything. And you know, they have like their whole checklist that they have to go through to make sure, cause it's a safety issue. And so they wanna make sure that 
everything is working properly so they opened all four doors to the aircraft which i've never seen happen before they had the cargo door open they had the windows in the flight deck open just trying to like air everything out and trying to figure out where the smell was coming from and so we were just waiting for a couple hours maintenance came on they said it was going to be a while but they were trying to get us because we were already del delayed so much they were trying to get us out of there so we ended up having a plane swap so we went to a different aircraft and we were waiting for them for a little bit to pull into the gate deplane clean the plane and then get on there as well so it was quite the process but most of our passengers were really understanding they were just happy to go home and again it's a 20 minute flight 25 minute flight like it's just so silly we didn't have a full plane and we just sat there because it's such a short flight we just sat and literally we go up and back down i wanted to tell you guys so i got a message from a flight attendant who was going to the plane that operations and maintenance our old aircraft with the smell it was there was fish down below in the cargo that wasn't secured properly or stowed properly i don't know what the protocol is for that but it wasn't stowed properly and it leaked and so it literally was like dead animal and my other flight attendant she was like it smells like fish in here and that's exactly what it was so that is absolutely a safety concern nobody wants to fly like that and so they ended up taking the aircraft out of service and they're gonna get that cleaned up obviously so it's a good thing we didn't stay on that plane because we would have been there all day and it just would have not been good so we made it tomorrow's go home day i'm really excited it's my last day of work for this month and then i have some really exciting updates for you guys for the end of the month i'm super stoked to share with you i'm gonna try to get one more kind of lifestyle vlog in and I am gonna do a get to know me vlog. I've been kind of putting it off, but I know that I've gotten a lot of comments saying, just like questions about like how I became a flight attendant, what I did before this, and just about my long distance relationship with Damon and yeah, all of the things, like just kind of my life and who I am. And so I do wanna share that with you guys. I've just been trying to find a time to film it. Um, my apartment got flooded last weekend and it's just kind of been craziness there so i haven't really had any space to film and then i've been flying so i'm gonna stop talking i feel like i've been talking a lot more in this vlog and i don't want it to be too too crazy long but i wanted to share that story with you guys because i'm like that is not you know we start work at three in the morning you do not think you're going to be ending with a two hour delay over a 20 minute flight because of a stinky fish smell in your plane like it just i mean it happens unfortunately and there's so much craziness right now with all of the airlines having outages and flight cancellations because of the microsoft outage thing um luckily we weren't affected by that and i think we just have different like software systems than other airlines do i'm not sure but we're so lucky that we didn't have to deal with that but we are kind of dealing with it because all of our flights are being like oversold and booked 100 percent because people are they're trying to accommodate people from other airlines i think as well and just like missed flights and stuff like that so it's been a little bit of a crazy trip today has definitely been the longest hardest day for sure and then tomorrow our van pickup is at 4 15 a.m so that's why i mean it's 7 30 p.m and i'm getting ready for bed because i have to get up at 3 30 tomorrow so i want to make sure to get some rest and we're just going back to seattle and then doing a fresno turn and then i'm done so i know that'll be a good day and i have a good crew they're super awesome really nice so it's been a good trip but i am gonna stop rambling and i'm gonna go to bed Good night. It is 4.30 a.m. We are on the plane. I'm working in the back. It's a 23 minute flight, so I'm just gonna sit there, drink my coffee, wake up a little bit, and we have like a two hour sit in Seattle, and then a Fresno turn, and that's it. We get to go home after that.